Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Bobby here. Uh, Tuesday, what's today's date? Tuesday the 25th, I think it is. Um, just at my son's practice. Just dropped him off. I'm going to walk in there in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> always moving. You guys, always moving like you guys are. Uh, but I wanted to check in really quick and talk about uh, something very uh, important to me. Right? So we all we all have the ability to change people, right? To make a difference. And too often we don't either recognize it. And if we do, we don't use it, right? We don't use it. We don't use the skills, talents, abilities we have. What's up, Michael? What's up, big boy? We don't use what the God gift, the God's gifts we that we've been given. We don't use them to help anybody, to do anything, right? And we go through life. We go through every week every month, every year, uh, going through the motions, right? Now, it's okay if if you do that for yourself, right? It's okay if if you are letting each day go by, each week go by, not getting better, if only you were impacted by that, but you're not, right? So I'm going to hold you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you guys out today, calling me out, calling you out, calling Big Chris out, calling everybody out to recognize the abilities we have inside of us to touch people, to help people, to motivate people, to inspire people, right? And and I've been at this this attempt to help people since I was a little kid. I remember uh, I learned it from my mom, who was always, you know, trying to help somebody in the in the military community. You know, whether it was a GI uh, who was who was single and new to the army, or whether it was a new couple that my, my parents could counsel. There was always somebody at our house, right? Every base we were at who was who she was trying to counsel or help, right? What's up, Big Curtis? So I learned from her. And I remember, like it was yesterday, coming home regularly from school, right? When I was 8, 10, 12, 14 years old, all the way up to college. Coming home and seeing a kid who was younger than me at my house, Right, because my mom had gone out and and met some new couple in the military, and uh, invited them over for dinner or lunch or whatever, and they had kids, you know, usually sons, and she had already told them how her son Bobby could help them. My son plays football. My son plays basketball, and so I've been I've been pushed into this role to help and mentor, and and, and somehow teach people since I was young, since I was, you know, a kid, you know, helping other kids. And I've done this. I know now <clears throat> I'm trying to do it uh, with the fitness platform, right? Motivate you guys to lose weight, to be in shape, to be healthy. But even when I was in finance and even when I worked for a living behind the desk, you know, and people will tell you, I always took time to talk to people and try to utilize whatever I had that could help them be better, right? There's a Chinese proverb that says, those who drink the water must remember those who dug the well, right? I just heard that recently. Those who drink the water must remember those who dug the well. So I've, you know, even though I seem cocky, I know Coach Bobby's cocky, athlete Bobby's cocky, real Bobby, who people know outside of the gym, outside of competitive environments is not like that. You know, I'm mellow, I'm introverted, uh, I'm insecure, I have, I have, I have self-confidence issues sometimes. Um, but I realize, I, I'm not naive, I realize there are things about me that people navigate to, right? That, that are pulled to, that are, are inspired by. And so I realize more importantly that I've been given this platform for a reason, right? I've been given the ability to teach people and train people for a reason. I've been given the way I look aesthetically, the, the ability to be phys physically, uh, I don't want to say imposing, but to have a physical presence to me. I, I've been given that by somebody, not me, by God for a reason, right? And I don't want to be selfish about it. And so my, my challenge to everybody is to look inwardly 
at what you've been given in life. Not just not just material things that your abilities have allowed you to get, but the abilities and talents and skills that have enabled you to have those things in your life. Right? Look at those things and ask yourself if you're using those things for selfish reasons or you're using what you have to impact people every day. And I don't mean buying stuff for your kids or going on vacations. Uh, I mean, are you really using what you have to touch people, to impact people, right? And so I was reminded by this, and, and I wanted to do this video because, um, as I said on Sunday, uh, I had a long weekend, and that message was about resiliency, and 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 owning up and accepting, and embracing setbacks, right? I told a story about my son missing free throws, missing a free throw and how crushed he was, and how we both recovered from it. But on the way home from that game, we went to Red Robin, my favorite place to eat. I'm simple. The Red Robin Burger. The Royal Burger is my favorite. Right, I'm very simple. Um, and we all needed comfort food, right? And so for those who are keeping track, I had I had a hamburger whole grain bun, um, and I had, well, I had fries. All right? I try to go... Uh, sweet potato fries, but I had some regular ones and a soda. So I don't, I'm not perfect. I don't eat clean all the time, right? But when we got there, I ran across my high school football coach, Coach Avila, who was the D coordinator at Seaside High School in Monterey, California in the, the, er, the late 80s, early 90s. I'm class of 1990. So he was my defensive coordinator. He has since taking the helm of head coach and has been the head coach there for probably 15, 20 years now. Right. So I've seen him maybe 10 times since then. I talked to the team one time. Uh, I went and saw a game. My daughter actually cheers now, cheers for her school and they played Seaside. So I've seen him a few times, but I'm still, I'm still in awe. I'm still humbled by the fact that he remembers who I am. Right. I mean, he's come across, he, he's, he's coached thousands of kids, at least hundreds, right? If not thousands of kids. And for him to remember me is humbling. And he tells my kids the same story. I don't even, I don't even uh, edge him on, but he tells the story about how um, he, he saw me make the hardest hit he's ever seen, right? And he played college ball, played for the Raiders for a little bit. But that's the side point. Uh, and I got thinking, uh, you know, he's one of the guys... That, that that I looked up to growing up, right? He was young, probably in his 30s. Um, he was he was passionate. He yelled. He spit when he talked. He was so passionate. He was still physically fit. So even if I didn't know it then, subconsciously, I wanted to be like him. You know, kids were drawn to him. Kids were afraid of him, but they respected him. Hey, Beatrice. And they were drawn to them. And so I believe, I know this, I don't believe, I know it, that we are all changed, impacted by seven to 15 people in our lives, right? Could be a coach, could be a teacher, could be a friend, it could be a counselor, it could be a boss, it could be a colleague, but there are seven to 10, 15 people in our lives that will change us, right? And, and will help us and guide us and inspire us, hopefully in the right direction. And we're hopeful that at least one of them is our parent, but not always. And so when I look back, you know, Coach Avila was one of those guys for me. One of those people who, who to this day made me feel better than I was, right? I had a teacher, Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Mr. Miller, Miller, Mr. Miller, I forgot his name. But I remember him telling me that I write good enough to be a writer. This is back when I was afraid to talk, stuttered, and didn't see myself as an academic. And I remember him telling me, you know, you, you write really well. And to this day, I remember that. Um, and so those moments, those interactions that we have change us. And so when I realized that maybe 15, 20 years ago, um, I told myself, I want to be one of those seven people for as many people as possible. 
right? So if, if it's seven to 10 people that change your life, I want to be one of those seven people for as many people as I can before I die, right? And I want to utilize all the skills, talents, abilities I have as I still figure them out. I want to use all that shit to help people, right? And because I'm, 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 I'm figuring it out as I go, as we all are, I don't always do it the right way. I don't always understand the right way to do it, right? And so I'm learning as I go. But yet, I still would not let a moment, an opportunity to do that, to be one of those seven people that changes a life for the better for as many people as I can before I go, before I leave this earth, right? And I think most of us, if we had that mindset, would approach stuff differently. Many of us, including me at times, we go through life collecting stuff and doing stuff, right? I did a video about this with my, my branding manager. I'm not sure we posted it yet, but we go through life just collecting stuff and doing stuff. Right, we buy this car, we buy this dress, we buy these shoes, we buy, we buy this, we, we, we go to this game, we go to this vacation. We do all this stuff just for us. And maybe our close family and friends might, might take part in most of that. But it's a, close, it's a closely held, selfish, really selfish use of what we've been able to accomplish in our lives using what was given to us, right? So we, we spend most of our time buying and doing stuff with the, with the material things that we've accumulated using the gifts somebody else gave us. And we go through life, we go through each week, each month, each year, never thinking about how selfish that is, right? So people who know me know I'm not really into a lot of, a lot of stuff that ain't, that ain't about getting better. Ain't about helping somebody. Ain't about inspiring somebody, right? BTY for me is a real thing. I don't do a lot of, I don't go out a lot. I don't buy a lot of shit um, that don't really excite me. I get why it excites people. I'm not judging anybody, but, and I probably go too far the other way, right? You know, people who know me, you know, Chris and and close friends from college, they know I could probably, I could probably spend, spend more time relaxing but I'm so afraid of leaving this earth and having to answer to God why I didn't use what he gave me. That scares me, right? What if you died today and had to, and had to confront God and explain to him why you didn't use what he gave you for somebody else besides you, right? I gave you, I gave you creativity. I gave you strength. I gave you courage. I gave you the ability to connect with people. I gave you the ability to lead people. I gave you muscles to, to be alert to kids, to listen to you. And you didn't use any of it for, for their game. You use it all for your game. But how would you explain that to God? Right? So I fear my life ending today and not having used what he gave me. And it's a lot. Even, even though I don't always appreciate it, he's given me a lot. Right? So every day I try to make sure I don't let moments that come across my table, my desk, my, you know, my, 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 my metaphorical death, I, I try not to let moments pass by without touching somebody. And Kelvin knows me from way back when. So when I'm at a game and I see a kid, you know, not, not acting the right way, I'm going to tell him, right? If I have a, 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 my daughter's friend who I'm in a car with, I'm going to tell him a story, right? My son's friends have heard all my stories. If I'm at boot camp, I'm not letting them go leave, leave without a lesson about life, about, about fighting through pain, right? Because I'll always say, I'll always say this. I'm not here um, to train you as a trainer. I'm here to change you, right? And, and it sounds corny, but people know that's how I am. I, you know, I tell as many stories as I do ex exp explaining workouts, Right, because anybody can can train you. I'm trying to be one of those seven guys in your life that changes you. Right, and so I think if we all had that same mentality, right, Christine, right, Max, right, Kelvin, had that same mentality, right, where we took every week, right, every month, every year as a personal responsibility to be better, right, to ask God, ask the universe. 
why did you give me this? Right? Why did you make me strong? Why did you make me smart? Why did you make me funny? Right? And how can I use that to make somebody better? Right? It could be anybody. It could be somebody at, at, at the supermarket. My mom made, made, made all kinds of friends at the supermarket. She changed lives through Mary Kay, through going to the supermarket five times a day. Right? It ain't got to be some formal situation like doing a video or, or, or running a boot camp class or being a teacher. You could change somebody in a lot of ways, but you have to first ask yourself, number one, if you are doing that, and many of us aren't, and it don't shame me now. I wasn't doing I don't always do that. Right? But number two, ask yourself what, and I'm telling you, there are things in this world that only you can give it. Right, Ricky? Right, Max? There are things, right, Beatrice and, and, and Angelique, Curtis, Chris, Michael, there are things that only you can bring to this world because of your background, because of your strengths, because of your, your, your unique set of circumstances. There, there are things that only you can give a kid or a woman or a man, right, that only you can teach them. And so if you don't walk into every week, every month, at least being ready to do that, then you're cheating the world and you're cheating yourself, right? And you're being selfish. And so when I said this video is calling you out, it's calling me out too. We got to stop being selfish, right? Sure, our, our talents have allowed us to buy a house or buy a car or buy the new Jordans or go to Hawaii. I get that. That's fun, right? Our, our, our talents and abilities have allowed us to connect with somebody we love and appreciate and who loves and appreciates us. And our inner circle, our kids and our, and our close friends and our spouses, they directly benefit from that. I get it, right? But you ain't here just for that. You're not here just for that, to do a few things and collect a few things and then die. You're not. I'm not. I know I ain't, right? So spend some time every week Spend some time every month. Spend some time every year figuring out why the hell you're here. Right? A great person once said that your life is God's gift to you. How you use it is your gift to him. Right? So you've been given a gift of life, of talents, of abilities that nobody else has. Right? Kelvin can do things no one can do in this world. Right, Ricky can do stuff that no one can do in this world. Beatrice, Christine, Max can bring things to this to this world that nobody else can. Period. Period. And so if you don't do that and you leave that 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 book, that song, that project, that business, whatever goes in the grave with you. Right? So, and not only that, but the kid the person, the person in Knob Hill, the person on the street, the person at the football game or basketball game, that kid who could have learned, who could have, who, whose life you could have changed because you didn't do it, because you didn't accept the responsibility that comes with, with having what you have, that kid is not changed in that way, at least, right, forever, right? So appreciate who you are. Appreciate what you have, what you've been given, and then go one step further every week every month, every year, and use that to change somebody, right? Still have fun. I'm not saying don't have fun. Still buy stuff. Still go places. Still do things. But at the heart of who you are should be, at least some small part of it, <clears throat> should be about what you can do, who you can change, right? And hopefully, if you, if you sit down for a minute after this video, and really think about it. Hopefully you'll be like me and want to be, right? And want to be one of those seven people, seven to 10 to 15 people that changes somebody's life for as many people as possible, right? Somebody changed your life, a teacher, a coach, a friend, a colleague, a boss, right? Seven to 10 people. So I want you to challenge yourself, right? This is, this is a challenge to begin Right. To start, you know, knocking them off and start lining up people that you can change. Right. And be that seven to ten people. Right. Be one of those people 
for as many people as you can. Right? And when we go to heaven, we can sit there, you and I together, and we can explain to God, right, how we use what he gave us the right way. Not perfectly. God God knows I don't I don't I don't do my shit perfectly. Right? But with intent, with purpose, with love, with passion, right? We use what he gave. I'm going to use everything he gave me, hopefully. My intelligence, my humor, my muscles, my drive, my commitment, my stutter. Even the bad stuff is useful, right? Even the bad stuff is useful, right? But at the end of the day, the challenge to all of us, to me, to you, is to be one of those seven people, seven to 15 people that changes somebody's life for as many people as you can before you die. All right? That's it. That's a challenge. So if you need help, you need guidance, hit me up. Uh, but we can do this. We can be better. We can make people better. Right? All right, guys. I love you. That was, how long was that? That was long. going to go to my son's workout. Uh, I'll check in in a few days. Uh, I'll do some more nutrition stuff and fitness stuff. It won't be so... Uh, what is this? I don't know. All right, guys. Love you. Have a good day. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right. BTY always, always trying to be better than yesterday. Love you guys. Bye.